Hi everybody and welcome back to my modeling channel. So today we're gonna build a pretty old kit. It's the Lunar Module from Airfix on scale 172. So I bought this kit maybe 20, 25 years ago even and uh, it was waiting in my basement until now. So let's open the kit and see what we have inside. So let's start initially with the instruction sheet. So it comes basically on the, the folding paper and you have one, two, three and four uh, drawing. It's all come pretty straightforward. Uh, first you have the initial assembly of the landing mo uh, module. Then you have uh, the plate on the moon. Then you'll have the upper part which will detach and the final uh, diorama. So, all together, pretty straightforward, and we'll see what's gonna come next. So I have a very clean sheet of decals, been pretty beat up through the years, but uh, we'll see if we can uh, restore it or how it goes. So you have the first uh, lunar module, uh, the Eagle, which was uh, the 21st of July, 1969, and the second moon landing. So, uh, and an American flag and a couple of details, but not much. So, let's see what's coming next. We're gonna check these. So, the lunar plate come in two parts, and I can see on the back that this was made by Airfield, uh, uh, Airfix, and it was built in 1970. So, as you can see, uh, this is more than 50 years old uh, mold, so might have some work to do on that to get a decent result. So now let's open the main box and see what do we have here. So we have uh, basically the module itself will be in two half and uh, the same for the base which will come in two parts. Then what we have here is basically the ladder, the stairs, the feet and the legs and of course uh, we'll have some astronauts as well uh, with their equipment. So for these that's a pretty easy kit we have about one two three and four screws and four main body parts who will be uh, doing that diorama. So beside that uh, you have two clear parts who will be basically the windows from the, mo the lunar model. So what I've been doing as well, uh, uh, studying a couple of pictures, they will, I was collecting some uh, chocolate gold uh, color metal sheets as they were uh, covering some leg of the module. So as you can see, I have different type of colors, uh, of course coming from different type of chocolate brand. And uh, I'm gonna use those around the lamb and see how it's gonna come out. So. Enough of talking, let's start building and see what we can get of that kit. So we're gonna start preparing uh, our uh, moon landing uh, site. So we're gonna put those stove plates together, glue them, and then uh, let it dry uh, for a while. Then uh, we are going to start uh, our uh, spacecraft. So we're gonna start initially with the lower part, with the, with the rocket. So we're gonna prepare the parts and uh, glue it together and then let it dry and then add some putty on it. So let's start now uh, to prepare the upper part of uh, that uh, spacecraft. So initially we're gonna glue those two parts together. This is where the astronauts uh, were uh, basically uh, taking uh, their part. And uh, then we're gonna have to put some putty. I have to say that of course that kit was uh, made in the 70s, so it's a pretty old one, so there will be a lot of uh, correction to made uh, a little bit later on. So now what we do, we are filling the gaps with uh, the putty and uh, we are going to let it dry. While this is drying, we're gonna start to prepare the legs. So of course there was a lot of uh, preparation just uh, on, the, on the legs on the themselves. And then of course on the platform, uh, there will be some sanding required of course. And uh, after that, we're gonna have uh, to uh, prepare the base for the, the moon landing. So of course, again, some putty, filling the gaps and try to get uh, something uh, look more uh, 
realistic. So after that, I will uh, complete the whole part of that uh, of those legs. We will do the final assembly initially uh, before adding some uh, aluminium uh, foil, uh, colored aluminium. So what I did for this part, I took some uh, gold aluminium foil, mainly uh, they were coming from a uh, chocolate box that might uh, may love some people, but actually it was uh, very easy to work out. So uh, I collect those uh, for quite a while and then when I have enough, uh, I'll start doing that kit. So uh, and that give uh, a little bit more realistic effect. So of course, once the putty was dried, I start to uh, file it down and of course uh, using some, uh, later on, some uh, thinner sandpaper to get uh, a, pretty, a pretty good surface. So now using some picture, uh, you can see uh, that uh, the spacecraft was normally uh, the, that uh, gold paper was normally uh, with a lot of wrinkles so that's why I didn't get it uh, really straight so I had to cut uh, of course that paper in um, that foil in a, in a couple of uh, lines and I tried to do uh, all the adjustments and I have to say that uh, at the end uh, you can get quite a realistic uh, effect uh, on that Now we're going to apply the aluminium foil to uh, the landing pad and for this you had to curl, cut a few bands of uh, this, uh, this gold foil or aluminium foil uh, to be able to get a proper result and uh, of course using some uh, white glue with help and uh, then you have to do a bit of a filling. So of course some parts uh, were, uh, didn't require that aluminium foil so what I did I used some uh, enamel paint from uh, Revel and uh, that was uh, with a uh, gold color that's also helped to do some uh, paint adjustment some of the struts were also covered with uh, a black matte black uh, color from Tamiya as you could see uh, on some other pictures Now that our legs are ready, uh, we're gonna glue them and for this we're gonna use some super glue and we're gonna fix them uh, around the, our base and uh, we're gonna see uh, how it will fit and then uh, we're gonna put the final pot, landing pot on that and uh, then glue it together and we'll see how it can uh, stand on our, uh, on our moon base. It's now time to uh, paint our moon landing plates. So what I will do is I will initially use some uh, darker paint and I will try to make some different shade um, on the moon landing side. So what that's going to give us, that's going to give us more reality as we all know uh, in the nature, I mean uh, the, 
The ground is never uh, uniform at the same color, so there is always different type of shades or colors or different uh, colors on the, on the dirt. So that's what I was trying to replicate and I think uh, it turned out pretty well when I see the end result. We also are going to paint now uh, the uh, exhaust of uh, the rocket for the, the spacecraft and for that I use uh, a very uh, dark grey matte colour. So after that, well, we're gonna cover the windows uh, of uh, that uh, spacecraft, and uh, for that, we're gonna use just uh, some uh, simple Tamiya tape and uh, do the adjustment using a scalpel blade, basically to, uh, to get this uh, open. So now, what we're going to do, we're gonna do the final uh, assembly. So for that, uh, I have some other parts, basically, that I will do, and of course. Uh, there is uh, quite a lot of gaps on that part, so I will have to add again uh, some putty and uh, carve it uh, at uh, the right shape when it will be dry. going to uh, add also uh, some uh, more antennas, satellite antenna, there would be a satellite dish as well, and uh, a couple of more details of course, um, and then we're gonna of course let it dry and uh, add some putty, fill uh, the gaps, and uh, after that we'll be uh, continuing and uh, finishing, most probably uh, coming to the painting part uh, of that model. So we are now uh, using a pen to uh, highlight uh, the area will be uh, paint uh, in black, those panels. And uh, I'm going to use also some masking tape that I'm going to put on the lower part, as uh, there will be also some, uh, paint, some panels will be uh, painted in black. Time to go back to the paint shop. So I'm gonna use uh, initially some uh, white paint to paint uh, all my astronauts, and I will use a different type of white uh, that I will uh, use to highlight basically some uh, sh shades on, uh, on them. So after that, of course, I'm gonna have to paint uh, those panels in a matte black color. And, uh, for this, as you can see, I was uh, highlighting a little bit earlier uh, using uh, a pencil, and uh, I will do those uh, panels in black. And, uh, after that, uh, it will be time to uh, mask them and uh, continue on forward. After painting everything in uh, 
the aluminium uh, color. Now I'm uh, able to remove uh, all uh, those black panel and uh, we can see that we have uh, a pretty nice uh, finish uh, on that uh, Mooncraft uh, or uh, spacecraft. So now we're gonna add some more uh, colors and uh, more details to our astronauts. For this I use uh, the sun visor in the gold color and uh, after that uh, we're gonna paint of course the gloves and things in there. Using some uh, pictures from NASA I will uh, use all these to paint all the details on them. Uh, on their uh, flying suit, or I would say uh, moon landing suit. And, uh, after that, uh, it will be time to uh, add some more uh, touch up and details. Uh, It's now time to work on those uh, flight controls uh, rockets. Those parts were in a full uh, plastic, they were full mold. So what I had to do is I had to uh, use a very, very small driller to be able to adjust that and uh, have basically that normal shape, which is uh, basically empty. So I initially drill uh, harder and harder, something uh, bigger and bigger on the diameter until uh, I used um, a scalpel blade. Then uh, I did uh, the other ones for the vertical uh, axis and then later on I realized that uh, they were not really uh, accurate and on the shape so I had to uh, remove basically the panel, detach the panel and drill another hole. So uh, later on I used some more pictures to make some, uh, to adjust the panel and to glue the panel a little bit uh, differently uh, on the, the spacecraft itself, but you will see that uh, a little bit later on. So uh, now we are going to uh, detail a little bit the entry. For that I use again that uh, aluminium foil uh, that uh, I was uh, using earlier and uh, I cut it at the proper dimension as you can see on uh, some uh, pictures of, the, of that spacecraft the entry was mainly covered with that uh, gold uh, that uh, gold aluminium foil. Now, uh, as I was mentioning earlier, I saw that uh, those uh, retro uh, rockets were, uh, or retro jets were not uh, accurate, so I cut them at the correct size. Then, uh, what I did, uh, I separated them, and then uh, I uh, drilled them, make them empty, and then, of course, uh, add them directly on the, on the spacecraft. Then, for those uh, side panel, they needed also some uh, attachments, and for these, as you can see, I used some. Uh, plastic cards or plastic cable uh, that I cut at the right dimension and uh, of course there were some angles so I had to work out with some, uh, some uh, wood support and uh, when they were dried of course I uh, finished the other, the other side be able to glue them, let them dry and uh, after that I used some uh, super glue uh, to fix them on the, on the spacecraft
So later on, uh, I observed that there were some panel lines uh, were on that spacecraft uh, when I was checking out some more pictures. So what I did is I used um, basically uh, a tape, a Tamiya tape, and then I used uh, a regular pencil to uh, draw basically those panel lines uh, on that surface. Actually, it worked pretty well because uh, the color was uh, a dull aluminum, so it did work very well and I could add some uh, quite realistic details and, uh, and I was very happy about those results. It's now time for the final touch-up on that model. So the satellite dish was going into black and I realized that toward the end of my build. And as I was regularly checking all those pictures on the internet, then of course we had the support for the, those panels and they had to go in another color as well. So that was another, another little details that uh, needed to be added. So we painted in a uh, dull aluminium uh, color. And, uh, then uh, finish up uh, all the final details and we'll be ready for display. So this is the final result of that uh, moon landing uh, kit from Airfix on scale 172. Don't forget this is a 50 years old mold so it has a, a lot of issues but uh, knowing that uh, this is my first uh, spacecraft and uh, that I don't, ha don't have much experience in that I was quite happy about the end result and uh, with a little bit of work we can get a pretty decent uh, final uh, product. So I hope you enjoyed that video with me. If you did so please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if it's not already done. And I will see you soon for uh, another build video. Thank you for watching.